Hey guys, Ned Lead here. Uh, this video is the second iteration of my uh, LTN and Vanilla series. So what I've added into this one is the implementation of uh, the ability to have a separate requester and provider stations. So the encoding is that stations that request something encode it in multiples of 65,536. So essentially you like left shift the number of things you request by 16 bits. So we can see here this station here is, is saying it can provide, or this fake station I guess, can provide three iron, two copper ore, and is requesting, has one station requesting iron. The one on the other side has one iron plate, two stations requesting uranium, and one providing copper plate. So let's see how that works. So the trick here, so if we set this to leave it at iron plate like this and fire it up, it's going to go once through the left lane because this combinator has one here. Or, well, it has 65,536 here, but that's indicating one requester station. And uh, Okay, so if I now set this combinator for one copper plate and start things up, we'll see that the train will go down the right branch because that's the one that's saying it's uh, it can provide copper plate. Now let's show what happens if we do the same thing for um, something that is providing instead or requesting, I guess, whatever, the other value. So now we'll do it with the uranium. So this time it'll go twice down the right, again because on the right side we have it set to do two multiples of that. And just like before, it still does load balance correctly if you have something providing or requesting the same thing on both sides. So how does this work? The only main change from last time is that we've got a set of combinators here that are doing a right shift by 16 on the values from the memories, and another set that are doing an AND with 65,535, which is the lower 16 bits all set to 1, to filter out the requests from the providing stations, requesting and providing stations from each other. And then we compute the same left versus right calculation twice essentially uh, with those results. So and that calculation is done by comparing negative numbers on this pole means that the train with those flags will go to the right and positive numbers mean that it will go to the left. And every time the train goes through the intersection it decrements these memories uh, by the appropriate amount, either 65,536 if that's what's stored on the val value on the train, or by one if it's uh, only storing one on the value of the train. So now we can separately have provider and requester stations. And the other thing that I've added in here is I've now scaled this for full speed all the way through the intersection. So let's turn it off and turn it back on. And we can watch the speed here. The train's now at full speed, and it is going to retain full speed all the way through the intersection now, which it did not with the other implementation, which you just saw before. Otherwise, this works exactly the same. It's just a very much stretched out version. So there are next time I'm going to be adding the depot into this that adds several trains and dispatches them appropriately. Thanks for watching.